Well, what do you know? Listen, it's the it's the Aries Carrington show, and I am the Dark Jedi Aries Carrington, and look who's next to me. What's going on, guys? Glad to be on your show. I love watching that intro. It's I feel like I'm getting on a late night show. I, really <laughs> I feel like I'm getting on a late night. It gets you in the groove, baby, doesn't it? <laughs> watching the people dance, and I'm like, yeah, let's get you going. Know- I just modified that sucker too. I think like last week I just modified that. And then like the dancers a little bit. You're saying like it's like late night now with Johnny Carson or, uh-huh. or Jimmy Fallon. Come on. <laughs> Listen, cool. look, I I'm 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 kind of all pretty excited. I've been under the weather for a little bit, but look, I've been pumping out a lot of stuff. I'm ready for my Christmas Eve morning live show, which I'm gonna be giving away a Star Wars hot toy, which we're going to talk about that in a second. Whoa. But look, baby, I'm a little bit pumped up right now, kind of like this. Cup of coffee in the big time, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because look, look, I mean, I got that Fennec came out of nowhere. I looked at that, and I think it was last night, and I'm like, holy smokes, dude! I'm like, you know, I know this is the Aries Terrigan show. And, you know, we talk a little bit about this. We talk a little bit about that. Maybe we talk a little bit about, you know, Love Boat reruns. But, you know, listen, come on. Dude, what did you think last night? I, I when, mean, I, I, when that thing popped out, it's something, it's so funny because we know that was coming. We absolutely knew Fennec was coming. But when it happened at the perfect head sculpt with the robot belly and the perfect price, Everybody, I think, just flipped. I think everybody, I think the value is there for this figure. I am so stoked to see this. I am so stoked Hot Toys nailed that head sculpt. I am a person of believer. I think it's 100%. I think it's 100% on this head sculpt. Wow. And that is a cup of coffee in the big time, baby. Because let me tell you something, my friend. Uh, You're in luck, too. Because this is really the first time I'm dissecting this. I tried to look at this more in depth before you, you jumped on backstage for the show easy. But, you know, I've just been crazy. And so I'm really going to be like diving into this with the first time with you. But you're like, really like, like look, look what I have in hand, baby. I've got the deluxe spotchka. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's got the blue fluid in the I've house. Got the blue. Got Man, I mean, just, just, I mean, okay. I, I, we're going to talk about the price. But speechless. Let, let me... I know, I know. It's speechless. <laughs> Look at this. I'm just going to pull it up. Holy crow. It looks mm-hmm. absolutely fantastic. And uh, and the way they did the hair, the hair sculpt with the red. I love it. I yeah, love and... how they pulled it off. Did they? I thought I read something easy. That they did something with the hair that it's is it some kind of like movable thing or something or I guess I that go. thing I mean it's separate little antlers that they plug onto her I don't, I'm I wouldn't say it's removable I wouldn't think so because we do see later on her helmet is on and those things are still there her little bangs mm, mm, so mm, I, mm. I think it's you know like Ray or Leia they have those little glue on pieces I think it's something like that yeah I'm actually trying to pull up um what what i thought i read because i said i'm just kind of diving into this okay here mm-hmm. it is it says do we develop head sculpt with authentic and detailed like this of being the when blah 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 highly accurate facial expression makeup blah 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 then it says newly sculptured brown hair sculpture with orange woven strips and braided ponytail embedded with bendable wire okay mm-hmm. that's yeah. what i'm wondering that was interesting embedded with bendable wire. Yeah. What's what's the bendable wire? The bendable wire is kind of like it's it, it allows you to pose the uh the ponytail. And I was it's wondering ponytail. That. Okay. Ponytail. 
it, I was wondering that earlier because of my buyer pass. I don't read the description. I just go straight into pictures. <laughs> and I was like, I wish you could pose the ponytail. And I guess you can. It's basically a posable ponytail. Which so is that needed. part back here, and I'm pulling uh -huh. up on on the uh, left side of the uh, of the image. There you go. Yeah. So she's that's always, oh, that's cool as hell. Then mm -hmm. if you could do because she always has that thrown around or thrown over her shoulder. So that's good to know. That's posable. Not gonna Damn. try posing it like crazy because it might snap. But <laughs> no, that's an added bonus. The fact that they did that easy mm -hmm. because. They have a lot of little intricacies like that. You see the little, you know, the, the the hair, the way they did it. And now the ponytail, that's posable. And now go into that head sculpt like you mentioned. And we're going to look a lot. I mean, the head sculpt is, I think it's A+. plus. Yes. It's beautiful. A hundred percent. Amazing work they did on this. Robot guts. We Robot were talking belly. about this and how many mm -hmm. freaking streams with different people yeah. that are they really going to give that to us? And dude, they did it. And they did it. And that's that's why I, when I saw this, I was like, I'm blown away. We knew this was still coming. We asked for certain things and they gave us everything and perfection. And now I'm just like, I'm waiting. I mean, some people don't like the base I've seen on my comments, but I'm waiting for its release. I hate that it's such a far out release, but what can you do? Man, I mean, this thing is is, is just, and I want to dive into it more. Just, uh, uh, it, it's so much. I just want to remind everybody here that hey, there is a uh, um, a giveaway that let me pull this up to uh, um, the Six Scale Cantina. There is, and I'm going to go to sixscalecantina.com. There's going to be a live show, Easy, that I'm going to have Christmas Eve morning, December 24th, 10 a.m. And it's going to be Christmas Eve live with Aries. Christmas, yeah, yeah, look at that. I got the little banner up over here. And giving it away. Look up. Now, I'm not giving all those away, but He's I'm giving, giving all one those away. away. Aries, you're so nice. <laughs> look, we got Lando. And we got the the uh, the squad leader, the uh, the short trooper squad short leader, trooper. the five oh first regular, or the Coruscant guard. Now, look, I just want to give a shout out to Ray from Hawk Wars Toys who's sponsoring this. And all you all have to do while you're watching the Aries Terrington show here with my special guest, Easy Company Collectibles. Did I do that right? Hey. Sometimes I don't even say it right. You just, just let it roll. Just roll, roll off the tongue. Just let it roll. Look, um, all you got to do, besides believe, listen, all you got to do is just subscribe to Six Scale Cantina. If you're not subscribed, you're not going to be able to win. So that's the first thing. So subscribe right now to Six Scale Cantina. Second thing you got to do is you just got to comment on the last Aries Terrington show with my special guest Fabio from Fobs Figures. And I left that banner up at sixscalecantina.com. So all you have to do, all of you that are watching, just go to sixscalecantina.com and click on this banner, you know, back from December 16th. Huge news. You see Harrison Ford on here, blah, blah, blah. Just click on it. It's an awesome show. Comment on there. But you also have to be subscribed. If you do that, if you subscribe and you comment on this video, on December 24th, 10 a.m., I'm going to start at 10 a.m. Eastern in the morning. You'll be able to, uh, uh, sometime during that show, I'm going to go ahead and do the giveaway, and one of you will all uh, be the lucky winner. You don't have to comment 80 times. You can if you'd like, but the computer is only going to pick one of your comments and only going to pick you if you're subscribed. So um, that's awesome. And so, easy. If, if, you, if you were... Got to be able to be to win if you were if you were eligible to win if I was eligible to win, which one would you pick? Would you pick Lando? Would you pick the squad leader? Would you pick the five zero first regular or the Coruscant guard? So when I do win, Aries, what I would pick, <laughs> what I would pick is the five zero first. I have to go. I I have the deluxe already, so I want a phase one. Mm -hmm. So having a second one, phase two would be absolutely sick. It would be absolutely sick to have my clone boys. 
doubled up. Well, I tell you what, I mean, the fact that that Ray is letting whoever the winner is be able to pick between any one of those four is fantastic. They're all brand new. They all come with the shipper box. And make sure you follow Ray from Hawk Wars Toys on Instagram. I got the link to his Instagram, everybody watching, mm -hmm. within this video description below. Also, I got the link to Easy Company Collectibles in yeah. the video description as well. Subscribe to him as Thank well. You. But don't forget to subscribe here because if you're going to try and comment, again, go to sixscalekidtita.com and go to this last Aries Terrington show with special guest Fabio. Comment on it. Make sure you're subscribed. There you go. We'll do the giveaway December 24th. Let's get back to uh, this awesome freaking... So all you got to do is just subscribe and comment on that video to win a figure. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty... that easy, huh? It's that easy. I mean, isn't that... Uh... That that's just insane. So let, let's let's <laughs> we made it dummy proof, Aries. We made it dummy proof. <laughs> I'm trying to make it dummy uh, dummy proof. And look, just give it back for the holiday season. And honestly, dude, we're so close to 2K subscribers. I basically just started this channel um at the end of January this past year. And I'm like, look, we're just about there. Might as well give it away. It's the holiday season, you know. So uh it's just a lot of fun. And um, but going back to this dude. The intricacy. So far, we've talked about the hair and now the ponytail moves and you got robot guts. And my goodness gracious, I mean, all right, the head sculpt. I just blew it up. Mm. Wow. Uh, you know, I'm surprised they hit the home run on a female head sculpt. Being, you know, hot toys, they even said before, they said it themselves one time even, that the female head sculpts are a lot harder to achieve because of the basically perfect uh skin tone and like no like when you see men it's all like Grr. but then when you see the women it's all majestic and smooth and and all that smoothness is hard to capture i, I think that's hot toys what they meant is it's hard to capture the a, a woman's likeness and it's it's blowing my mind to see it here so well that i'm almost lost for words and then i'm hoping they don't screw up on release i hope it doesn't soften up i hope they don't take back some things i really hope that's all i can have is hope <laughs> listen i will tell you a little bit of something i'm noticing they're they're really really they they actually nailed this unlike remember they came out with the ray and it was horrible these production photos and then i mean uh prototype photos and then they nailed it yeah. and it's like yeah then they a lot of people the figure of the year this is opposite in the very beginning, mm -hmm. it's good. So is it possible, you see that this could get better then? There, I, sort of get I've had people in my comments said, there's so little room for improvement here. There's so little room that that's why I'm, a lot of people are thinking it could go down from here. Mm. Because they nailed it so high, production level figures, I'm curious to see. I'm curious to see what a production level figure will look like. Aries. Look, I, let, as we're going through this, because look, I, I'm bringing the Spotchka out, and this is the first time I'm really diving into it right here with Easy, my friend Easy. And uh, look, if if this head sculpt, in my opinion, right now, actually stays the way it is, if it comes out like this, to me, this is one of the best Star Wars Hot Toys head sculpts of all time, right off the mm -hmm. bat. And I just did a yep. countdown. A week ago. I mean, I, what's how is this not in the top 10 ever if it comes out looking like this? I think the last time I was this excited for a Hot Toys was Commander Cody. Because when we saw Commander Cody come out and then its release was perfection, I was blown away. Because they got Tamar Morrison's head sculpt absolutely on, on spot, on release. And this is the next figure I've seen that, wow, I'm like, whoa. This is super real. So. You know what's super real about this to me? I was talking to Fabio about it. I mean, a lot of their head sculpts, obviously, they're magnificent. But mm -hmm. I feel like with some of them, there's a little bit of breath of life where it yeah. doesn't look like a like 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 a dead stare. This looks like it has attitude. It almost looks right. like it's it's going to start a human, a human essence is in it. Yeah. I mean, am I wrong on this one? 
That's I think this is this is Hot Toys' aim is to capture life. As weird as that sounds, it's to capture. I think that store called Toy Sapiens. There's some meaning behind some. I don't know where it was. I saw there's mm-hmm. some meaning that the human in 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 the art or something. Somebody called it that, and Hot Toys achieved it here. On releases like Obi Wan from Revenge of the Sith, I think they did not. Like mm-hmm. those type of figures, they don't really capture life. But when this, you say, like, she's about to change direction, look at you and say, hi, Aries, what's going on? I'd be like, listen, <laughs> are you Fennec or the Hot Toys wizard, baby? <laughs> right. Get on. All right. Who are you? But like I said, absolutely amazing. All right. Talk to me about this outfit because it looks, it looks amazing. I mean, I, you, you and... Dante, uh, Man of Hot Collectibles, you're so good. You do reviews. I give everything a 10, a 20, a 30. <laughs> Tell me about what, what is your impression of the tailoring looking at this so far? What, what are you? The tailoring is amazing. I love this. I, I love when they do this because um, there was another figure that they had done tailoring on. It wasn't even a DX figure. And the, the tailoring, I forgot who it was. I don't think it's out. Who was it? I don't know, but these figures look like as if like foam box type figures. I mean, the outfit is just the patterns and the designs and the scale to likeness of a like a one to one is beyond me on the fabrics, the mix of fabrics they have. The only issue I have is some parts are kind of pleathery looking and I don't like the pleathery stuff because they kind of flake after time, which I did have a few issues, um, but not too, too much of an issue. Uh, but other than that, the outfit is amazing. Is the outfit you were talking about? I know that we talked a ton about uh, how great the outfit was on the DX Ahsoka Tana with the Grogu. Ahsoka Tana. Is that what one? it is? Yeah, I remember now because it's just so intricate. And for the price, think about it. I mean, this head sculpt, this detailed tailoring, and and. Mm literally suited out a body and constructed just for her. I think it's a, it's such a good deal. And then it will just go so well with the throne and Boba Fett. Yeah. And look at the, uh, what do you call those uh, with, with the red uh, trim around it? Uh, her, oh, the her gauntlets cuffs, or, or gauntlets. Her, um, I think they're current braces, arm braces, gauntlets, yeah. something like that. It looks so sweet. And look at mm-hmm. the, uh, the gun looks incredible. Oh yeah, that blaster, little sniper blaster, whatever she uses. They added some modern touches to the blaster. Now that you're looking close at it, you, you have a little red dot on top of the little scope, and Hot Toys nails this stuff. Nails yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Look at the inside of the. Uh, is that the inside of her comma pants? cape or whatever that is by her left knee here? What is that orange? I guess that's that's the outside of her cape. Oh, the outside. Okay, mm-hmm. it's a little design. Is that a split boot design? Can you see I, that? Mm, I didn't I check can't... that out. It don't look like it. It doesn't look like it. Let me see if I can get yeah. to another picture. Um, that's the only thing I I kind of uh, the pleather. It just when you move it, it just I don't want the flaking to happen. I prefer like the. Uh, who has them? I think Darth Maul had the vinyl type split boot designs. I think those are just fine. But, I don't know. Sticking to the realist accuracy. I mean, I what they're doing. This just looks so incredible. Um, the helmets. What do you think of the helmet, dude? Helmet is cool. I mean, a lot of people thought, you know, are we going to get it helmeted and no head sculpt? Or are we going to get a head sculpt? And what are, how are they going to do the fun? I think they did. They, they nailed everything. I think they did everything 100%. And the way you can just, I think that the way they're showing it, you just plop it on top of her head or something. I'm not sure how that is exactly. But look at that robo belly. Yeah. And I'm thinking that this is almost the same type of helmet as the Jin Urso Imperial Disguise in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, it it looks so hot. I mean, look at those robot guts. Yeah, I that's one thing I thought we were not gonna get. I'm surprised we got this. I think this is a little nod to the fans. They heard. I think they heard us. I think they heard us with the robot guts. 
You know, let, let me ask you this, because I'm so excited about, about what, what they did here. And I'm looking at the timing of when this comes out. And I was telling people, look, not only did I call, and a lot of people called it, but look, I was really adamant that this was absolutely going to get officially announced before the end of this year. Voila, toss one up to the Hot Toys Wizard. I, you know, the Hot Toys Wizard isn't me. But I heard from the Hot Toys Wizard. You have a look, week left, and they gave it to you. They did it. Who knows what else I'm right about. But look, uh, you have like something like the armor, which, you know, I was very, very critical on that figure. Instead of giving it a 10, like I give every figure, I gave that like a 9.98. <laughs> uh-huh. 9.9. Eight. That's pretty good. That's like almost perfection because they give you two stupid Phillips screws on a, bo- on a bottom of each foot. And then, you know, you got no articulation, but they had to come out with that one real quick, fast in a hurry. You're right. And then all of a sudden this one has like every little thing that you could think of to perfection. Is it because they were lazy with the armor? Is it because they're not being lazy with this or is it just time easy? where, okay, they had to come out with that quick, and this one isn't coming out till 2023, so we can give you everything. You know what could be possible, No, I was thinking? Could be possible that this was coming out as a Mandalorian release, Mm -hmm. but they converted it because of how late this, this, this girl's coming out. Possibly, in my mind, in theory of conjunction to what you're saying, it may have been a turn... And they adjusted some things, changed up the uh, figure, and made it a Boba Fett, book of Boba Fett figure. And then we're like, oh, just in time for the show. Instead of, oh, this is too late, you know, Mandalorian. Maybe, maybe they changed it up and decided, you know what, let's rewrite this and put book of Boba Fett on it. Mm -hmm. Well, it says right here, Star Wars, the book of Boba Fett, Mm -hmm. where you got the one with the... uh, um, the throne room actually says the Mandalorian, which is really interesting um, mm-hmm. that this is a companion with. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but look, please tell me this isn't the stupid sand base. I don't think so. I think it's it, just the, yeah, it's flat. It's flat. It's flat though. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I say I that. Have I said that to my buyer pass. I'm like, if it's a stupid sand base, I mean, it's good, but it just, it's a stupid sand base. That we're always used to. I just don't like the sand base, but I, I'm always drawn back to it because of the texture and more detail. But it's, it, I hate it. Look at this, dude. Look at this, how it's going to go with the one with the throne. The Boba Fett with the throne, very interesting, is actually dubbed the Mandalorian season two. Mm-hmm. Is it possible, Easy, that with this Boba Fett and the throne, that they're actually just going to change that so that they both read the book of Boba Fett? Or you think it really doesn't matter? If licensing didn't have to do a big play and stuff, I I think they they could be changed. It could change. I feel it would make sense. I mean, literally, that's the figure, <laughs> and it's labeled Book of Boba Fett. So I don't I don't know on that. I think they would stick to it. Yeah, I mean, look at this dude. Holy crow! How many people are going to display it like this? I, that I I'm I'm one. I'm one. This is just iconic right here. Mm. I love this. And I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I'm so much more excited about this repaint Boba Fett now. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's just me? I mean, it actually looks... Just the fact that she came out, it looks better. The Boba Fett looks great. Yeah. I, I... And it's just Boba Fett's armor is so nostalgic and so much fame and, and love it's put into that. And then to see it reprised like this on a throne piece. I mean, we have a lot of throne lovers. People love throne pieces. So this is just perfect, perfect situation going on right here. Book of Boba Fett's going to deliver some, I feel, Mandalorian hype type figures. All right. Talk to me here about $270. You're seeing all the stuff it comes with. You get a couple of guns. You get the uh, the magnetic holster. Mm-hmm. You get the freaking Spotchka baby. You get the helmet. You get the robot guts. You get, I mean, look at the the intricacies of these boots. You get, what is this, like a pouch or a purse? I guess that's something? her collection, her coin, her bounty coin, I guess. Yeah. I, I couldn't figure that out. 
I, I think, yeah, the three coins, I guess it's her collection, and you get sets of hands. Talk to me about this price range where everybody's talking about Hot Toys are increasing. I get that Hot Toys prices are increasing, but look, prices and everything. Have you gone to the gas station? Have you gone here? Have you gone to the supermarket? Have you gone to Walmart? Prices are going up. But look, I, yeah. 270 Pretty good. I'm not, yeah, I'm not complaining. And places like uh, our, our partners on the channel, which is Comic Concepts, you can get it for $259. Wow. So it's it, it's even it gets even better. Um at that price with this delivery, with this product finishing, I think yes. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Okay. So you see this at $270. And why what makes the Bo Catan figure two hundred and eighty-five dollars? What makes it fifteen dollars more? Now I get it; she has the Mandalorian armor, but this figure, dude, yo, it comes with a lot. We just the went through it. The outfit alone—it's a lot, and and it's weird you bring that up because I forgot Bo Katan being two eighty-five. Yeah, that I'm going to see of... actually if I could. Um, pull it up onto the screen here while we're talking. But yeah, it's mm -hmm. 285 unless I'm I'm mistaken. And it's not like it's die cast or something. No, Obviously nothing. it'd be a lot more. And the armor that. you would think because it's just painted, you know, pieces of plastic versus the entire tailored and fitted outfit of Fennec, it does raise up some questions. Do you have Django fit for 285? It's Django, funny. I can see it comes with a lot. But, all right, well, here, mm -hmm. here, I just pulled it up. Here's Bo Katan. I mean, not Bo Katan. Uh, 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 yeah, Bo Katan. And uh, I guess it comes with a lot. You got the jetpack. You got the. Yeah, and then they have a dioramic type base as well. Yeah, um, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, we can see bucks. how, yeah, we can see how it comes in. They did, they did look at the tailoring on her. Yeah, I, we can we can see how it. I well, I can see how it's two eighty five. I can see how it is. I feel like though a lot more people, and maybe I'm a lot more people complained about this price point, but I'm hearing a lot less initially. Anyway, I might not have heard everybody about two seventy because two seventy for what we're getting with FedEx. I mean, we're talking about fifteen bucks, but it does add up. Mm -hmm. And it's not only adding up; <laughs> it's allowing hot toys to creep up. <laughs> I hate that. Every time we see something, they're like, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. And then we hit $400 for a Spider-Man figure. Mm. <laughs> I don't like that at all. I don't want to yeah. see Hot Toys hitting 320 as a norm. This is almost 320 with shipping and taxes. So it, it's it's killer. I, I see what you mean. It it does add up. It's it's killer. All right. So here's go, going to this figure real quick. Oh, you're you're this is yours right here. You can't what wait people this. aren't realizing is this Fennec that's labeled Book of Boba Fett. That figure goes exactly with this set. They were showing her in the sand and in, in, in uh um uh you know Hunting on that up when 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 he had this on, um, you know, when he put on both outfits, so that figure. And people forget about this easy. It actually not only goes with the throne, but how many people are going to buy multiples so that they can maybe pair it with one or both of these figures? I know one person immediately, Fabio. We all know Fabio <laughs> is the king of of the trio. I mean, people will all will will just love love. I mean, there's probably people that's going to put her on the floor and Boba Fett right above her just to remake the scene of when he walks up on her. There's all kinds of people out there. There, I'm 100% people are going to buy multiples. 100%. Yeah, is it possible that the Dark Jedi Ares Terrington, who's serving up all the Star Wars Hot Toys talk with easy company collectibles, is going to buy two? And I say, yes. You are. I have to because I have to put it with with, with the... With, with, th with this set, too, because mm -hmm. this is, for, for me, an even more epic moment than, than, than the throne. 
when we get Boba Fett kicking butt with the robes, when he's smashed. When did we see Stormtrooper armor easy ever, like, smashing into pieces? Smashed up into pieces. Rogue One was the first time. Ah, that's right. Rogue One, Cherry Emway knocking crap out of people. And that's the first time I'm like, oh, my God, that plastic just... Well, that's the name of their armors. I think that's what it was. It's plastic. Mm-hmm. And they they butchered armor in there. And then in, in this man in the Mandalorian, I, I love it. I love it when they when they mess stuff up like that. Well, I mean, it'll go. It'll absolutely go. That Fennec Shand with this two pack set. And you have to wonder, you see, is it possible now that this two pack set is going to get officially released before the end of the year now that we've got Fennec. I mean, it's supposed to ship here January 22nd. Before the end of, basically, in in the next week? Yeah, is this going to come out before Christmas Eve? Are we going to actually, before that, New Year's Eve, excuse me. Um, Is this going to get the production photos come out anyway in Hong Kong? Wow, that's that's a question to go through. I... With a big release like this, and then if they release this guy right behind her, wow, that will stir up some sales. I've got the feeling that they're going to do it. And I know that the man of hot collectibles, yeah, Dante thinks it's going to be, what, the 20, well, I think he might have said the 29th when actually this airs on Mm -hmm. Disney Plus is the 29th. So I'm I'm not sure, you know, right around that time. I actually think that's possible and i actually wouldn't be surprised if if it comes right on the heels of this yeah when, when did fennec get, get released uh today yesterday today? well last night but um i would say this morning for all the pre-order drops so you've been following this hobby a long time surprise mm-hmm. you if they did final production photos on this tonight the next night over the weekend but we've seen this done before. We've seen the push before with Spider-Man's uh, No Way Home black and gold suit. Out of nowhere, before the movie came out, they pushed it out. Or mm. was it during the movie's release? They pushed out that figure. And everybody's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did this come from? And I, it, it released so quick. I, didn't, I don't know how they got it out, but it released so quick. And to see... The only issue being is that this is a two pack, a little bit more going on with it. Maybe um, a push to next year, January, February. But if mm-hmm. it was this week, that would be great. That would be stupid great. All right. I want to ask you a question on this because I have a thought. Oh, no, it's Sakotano. And everybody's telling me, look, Aries, this is delayed. Aries. Aries, my coffee's cold. I'm not going to be able to spill it because she's not going to come out now until June, July, because it takes that long. I'm getting these messages. I'm like, listen, folks, haven't we just gone through where, where Sideshow is releasing a lot of these simultaneously, you know, with the Hong Kong uh, sellers, you know, come on. Mm-hmm. So let's let's not get over dramatic here. But here's what happened. In my opinion with this easy, I still expect this maybe any day. Because it doesn't say yeah. February 2022 by itself. It still December. says December to mm. February. It's showing <laughs> me maybe they still have their first batch and it still could come out this month. I'm not losing hope that this could still get released this month. Right. Is this probably one of those things that Sideshow is holding Hong Kong Hot Toys from shipping this out, getting their first batch? And simultaneously, like you said, shipping out with day one Hong Kong, possible. Mm-hmm. December 2021 is still up there. It's still up there. And I think if they knew they weren't going to get it or if it wasn't in the ports in California, they probably just would have put in February and be done with mm-hmm. it. I mean, why didn't they put December to January or why yeah. didn't they just put in January yeah. to February? Uh, it, it doesn't make any sense. Um but I still think that this is going to get um, – I still think that it's possible that this could still get released. However, I was calling for about a month now, and I think I, I pointed it out. I actually said, is it possible 
that this figure could be delayed um, a few months. And, uh, you know, I it, it could be now. It could be. It could be one of those things where it, you're not going to see it until February or March. I mean, what do you think? I mean, I could see it either way. I'm not too sure on these releases on some, like, why? Do you have any idea? What's your theory on why a figure like a Sogatano, something that looks basic and should be an easy release, would be pushed back, whereas we have stuff like probably this Boba Fett two pack on a release and and certain other figure dropping. What's the what's? Do you have any idea or theory on this pushbacks? I'm always curious to wonder, like what why what's behind Hot Toys' motive? You know, I, I my, my my theory is, I really believe that that sideshow has been on a huge push. You know, coming out of COVID to have simultaneous releases with the sellers in Hong Kong so that they're not going to lose all those big initial orders. And I think Ahsoka is a big release. It did break the internet. Mm -hmm. It's not as big as it was. It still is as, well, I mean, it's, I don't think it's as big as it was. It it's is not as big hyped as it anymore was. because you got I mean, the other Ahsoka. You got the, yeah. yeah yeah so so now there's a little bit watered down. You got to get Rosario Dawson, blah blah blah. But still, I mean, look for a figure like Rex, a figure like Ahsoka, a figure like that Boba Fett two pack. Everybody doesn't want people don't want to wait two seconds, let alone two months, to 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 acquire those figures. And then it's almost like Hot Toy a, a sideshow gets the sloppy seconds of oh okay I I kind of I kind of you know I. Yeah, I, I'm waiting two, three months, and I personally don't mind waiting that long. But some mm -hmm. people don't want to wait that long. But that's a lot of money to lose. Where you know it's a big influx, and I'm not sure what the percentage is of the initial hype of people wanting to get the figure, get the figure, get the figure. But they do lose some money, and I think that that's the holdup. I don't think yeah. I think it's done. I think it's in ports in California at least the first batch or two anyway. I just think that that's what's going on. And I think Sideshow may be holding Hot Toys hostage on this. What do you think? I think you're absolutely right on that. Because why else? Um, we've seen stuff being delayed. And then st I, I wouldn't be surprised if so Ahsoka releases. And then Sideshow says, we're shipping your stuff out. Same time. I think I I, I believe you on that. And I'd say Sideshow is... is holding them hostage and, mm. and making them slow down because I, I see a ton of people. They just, they mess with me all the time. Like, where do you get your first day, ba day one batches from and, and this and that. And, and a lot of the money is going overseas. So I, I'd be on the same boat with you, Aries. Mm. Do you think that the Boba Fett two pack is going to also be released simultaneously with Hong Kong? Do you think we're going to get one of the sideshow folks, that are going to do their unboxing before we ever see any of the other reviews. Now, like the that, would be sick. that would be sick to see, but I, I, I have no idea. I, I'm not, I'm not the wizardry like you. I can't do it. <laughs> when it comes to giving stuff like that, I'm like, I don't know. Let me answer it for you. And I say, yes, yes. I think they are. I think they're going to have it. I think that's why that side that that sideshow put out those initial emails a month or two, a couple months ago saying, "Hey, it's going to be shipping much earlier than than anticipated," you know. And if it's going to ship in January, and they sent out the emails, "Hey, this is you know we're going to be charging you," and it's already what December? What is it today? December twenty second. Twenty second. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's sure. I, I'm thinking yeah. any day, and probably in conjunction with the book of Boba Fett. On December 29th, it could be it can be now, it can be tonight, it can be the night before the show, it could be the night after the show, but somehow in conjunction, it's so close. That's what's gonna happen there. And I think that it's gonna be available for, for a lot of folks. Here's an interesting thing. Going back to this screen. Um, look at this. Look at oh, this, my friend. Already trending. Already number one when you sort it out. All Hot Toys Star Wars. Wow. So I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm not surprised either. I am a little bit surprised to see those Mandalorians 
that they were number one and two here for for about a a week before Fennec popped in. These those two figures won't go away for sideshow, but they sure as heck selling. It's not like they're sitting there at the bottom. Like That's the crazy. Gesture. That's crazy because I thought Mandalorian figures would have been dropped. You know, the hype being gone for a little bit. And you know, the clones are coming back. But that's crazy because Death Watch is right below them. Um, mm -hmm. That's kind of cool to see that Mandalorian is still going with these guys. Yeah, I mean, the clones were number one for so long. I mean, Rex mm -hmm. was number one for how long? And then before that, the 501st, they've been selling, selling, selling. Uh, and remember how long the, uh, the Vaughn and Jesse, who's Jesse? Right. Um, you know, I'm surprised that Mandalorian is not at the top for pre order. Yes. I'm surprised that guy's not, but I guess those are in stocks. So, yeah, and uh, they are going to sell out. These mm -hmm. will eventually sell out if they keep selling top like this. Yeah. Um, but anyway, look at Fennec. And, you know, is it possible? I don't think it is yet because this just came out and it's number one sorted out everything Star Wars. If I add Marvel and add <laughs> DC. Spider Man. <laughs> well, you know, they have the clones ahead of Spider Man for a while, but is it possible this Fennec is going to be number one? I actually think it will. I think if you give it about a week, probably that Fennec will be the number one selling yeah. figure. What do you think? What is, what is that? Spider Man, what battle is that new? That's the uh battle damage. Did I miss this? Am I <laughs> Aries? Where am I? Rattling version. This is the Spider Man the movie promo edition. Where did bro. this even come from? Oh, come on. It just came out like a couple of uh, weeks ago. Really? Yes. Dang. <laughs> yes, it's the battling version. Dude, you didn't know this yet. Wow, I did not see this. I did you did not, not see it. This. I am surprised by my own lack of <laughs> Dude, attention look at here. the base. Oh, wow. I'm glad. I kind of said that with Fennec. I said I wish they would start doing dynamic bases but look at the price oh yeah, my god is this is pretty cool here? 345 yeah but look at that base though i mean it's it's really nice i i, I said in my buyer pass i'm like i wish they would with fennec give us you know like a sand dune type of base or something but pricey. yeah i guess yeah, the only thing i'll say i i agree and, and that would be nice i guess because it the throne Mm -hmm. You're gonna people are gonna put her with with boba in the throne, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's true. But you could still put her with the boba two pack, and that would oh. be nice to have some type of base like like this here. You know, like when she's right. aiming and sniping. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool, actually. I mean, there's so many, uh, so this many. Is pretty cool. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm I'm surprised that they went full blown with the Spider Man line. Um, now seeing that the movie's like second all-time grossing film in all of history. Mm -hmm. I see why they're, I see why it would make sense now, but they went pretty hard on Spider-Man line. I mean, giving you all out bases, dioramas, accessories, head sculpts. They gave us everything. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool to see. Is it possible that we're not done with figures from this Spider-Man movie yet? What say you? Uh, it's it. We're, we're green goblin, doc, Ock. Um, if they don't make those two, we ain't going to see anything. We, we're, it's done. But Doc Ock and Green Goblin has to, has to show up. Got to be. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're definitely, I think they're going to make quite a lot of figures mm -hmm. from that. And you said that that movie right now is tracking to what? Second most all time. Second most all time. Yeah. Wow. If I'm right, I think second most all time, which First opening weekend was like $257 million on the opening weekend. Wow. So that's that's crazy. You think money. people were ready for a blockbuster? It, to be able to come it, out of... I mean, really, because people have been stuck. Let's be honest. Sports really finally started to... People started to go to the events this year. And, you know, you, you saw that a lot with MMA. They were, they were doing mm -hmm. a lot of things. And then... All of a sudden, you saw it here and you saw it there. I think people were just looking for, you know, a reason to, to get back out. out. Yeah. And with the hype surrounding this No Way Home, um, no spoilers, but with the hype surrounding it, it, it it's a blockbuster. It's to me, it it's it was 
it was one of those worthy movies that I step out of my home to go watch. And I, 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 I give it, I give it that, um, Venom, let there be carnage. I was expecting a ton and not much out of it. But when I, when I see something like no way home, it's, it's a blockbuster. Yeah. Dude, 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 dude. Look, um, I know this is, this is a short episode, but that, so let me get your final thoughts on this, pulling this up on the screen here. Um, I am just so blown away. $270. One thing we didn't talk about expected to ship April, 2023, June, 2023. Now I will point out that some of these figures that we've been talking about, some of them are moved up like the Boba Fett two pack drastically, like, like months ahead of time, like the Boba Fett two packs, like, like seven, eight months ahead of schedule. But what do you think about this? I knew that they were going to be filling in a ton for 2023. And I warned people, you're going to get an absolute enormous amount of releases, but are you okay with this at this time frame? You think it should be earlier? What's your opinion? I, I'm not okay with the time frame. I'm honestly, I'm disturbed every time I see a time frame like this. Mm -hmm. We watch the show. We watch the movies. We like, for example, Endgame. We watched Endgame. Endgame is done. It's through. <laughs> I, I think everybody is done and out. And then Mark 85 is released. And we're like, oh, okay. It's no more We Love You 3000. It's no more the hype and stuff surrounding. I wish Hot Toys would figure out a way to fat to get a bigger factory, get bigger stuff. I mean, if they're taking them this much money, where's all their capital going? <laughs> I mean, I, I said in my buyer pass, if release times were like half a year to a year, that would be amazing. And now it's stretching two years almost mm. to, I mean, what was uh end game Mark 85? That's like almost two, over two years. Wow. Yeah. And that kind of stuff hurts. But yeah. like you said, this two pack has been pushed up. And maybe there's been a change somewhere in Hot Toys that they're being able to push up some figures. So hopefully, with that being said, this happens to uh, this figure right here. But I mean, if it... yeah, uh, I mean, in, in my thought, it would be, you know, is it possible that they can actually move this up to where Boba Fett and the throne is supposed to come out? Now, that figure is supposed to come out. Boba Fett, this throne that we're looking at right here that they're using with this Fennec shot. Mm -hmm. Is supposed to come out what uh fourth quarter of 2022 october you know uh time frame i would be okay with that but is it possible that they can put them both out at the side look i think that would be a real money move for them the fourth quarter they are going to you saw what happened the fourth quarter this year um easy so so it is an interesting mm -hmm. yeah some part. figures came out just boom 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 yeah and because like, oh. they, they wanted to make that money is it possible then that next year it's going to be the same scenario that, okay, you know what? We're going to move that Fennec way up because we want to be able to sell her too with the mm -hmm. Boba Fett and the throne. What say you? Very possible. I feel, I feel very possible. Those are a uh, sidekick character duo and, and hot toys. I think they could pull it off. I think they should, they can pull off something like that. So it would be interesting to see um, the both line up come at the same time. All right. So look, man, this is uh... a, <laughs> Final thoughts on this $270. She looks absolutely amazing. Um, when you let, let's compare this to what everybody was saying would be the figure of the year coming out with the Boba Fett two pack, which they came out with earlier, earlier, early in 2021, that that might have been the best head sculpt they've ever seen to Maura Morrison with the two pack Boba Fett. Uh, um, that we were just looking at before. Is this comparable to that Tamora Morrison head sculpt? Is this on that level? I want to say yes. Because, it, it, Aries, tell me, is this not the best female? I can't think of anything else. Is this the best female hot toys they've ever done? Mm. I want to say, say yes. yes. I say yes. I love the Jyn Ursa. I love that Ray that came with the Dio, the Rise of Skywalker. I love the Princess Leia Bespin. Um, and the, the Hoth. 
I think this is better. I think that this mm -hmm. is an upgrade. I think that this looks so darn real. Next so, gen right here. You know, you could touch her face and feel feel like you're going to feel like her real skin. And there's only a couple of figures that we can do that with. And, you know, we're, I was talking to Fabio about on the last, I think it was on the Aries Terrington show, that Obi-Wan, that Alec Guinness, uh, and also that Peter Cushing head sculpt. Yeah, Peter uh, Cushing's uh, Moff Tarkin. Wow, you you really feel and see the wrinkles in him, and this is just like that. You see that little scar on her eye. Yeah, dude. You feel like that's really skin that's been scarred and risen, and you see. That's why I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for the uh, uh, the release, and I'm just I'm kind of scared. I, I'm not gonna lie. As as good and beautiful as this, this release, I'm kind of scared. I'm scared to see what the final product is going to be like. You know what else looked really good too is the Rosario Dawson Ahsoka Tano is freaking outstanding, dude. Yes, I I forgot that. I was about to mention that's a contender with her. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, wow. I mean, those two in one shelf. Oof. Dude, come on. <laughs> those two in one come shelf. On. I got to play this again. Cup of coffee in the big time, yeah. Oh, <laughs> spill it right now. It's going to drop the damn thing. Come on. It's crazy when, I mean, seeing that kind of realist realism in your, in your, in your, in your home on your shelf brings it to a new level. Brings it to a new level. Dude, man, uh, this freaking figure, I don't think that we're going to have to wait till April to June of 2023 for this. Is it possible that this figure is going to be one of many figures that they're going to create another quote unquote storm for next year? And this is going to be a release that comes out oh, you I know, next so. year. Well, I, I hope so. You hope so. And I, I say, so. yes, it's got to come on. Why do we got to wait for this? Mm hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I think, on. yeah, keep pushing back Pennywise. Get her done. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I already told you, I heard from uh, from the Hot Toys Wizard on Pennywise. December when? 25th, 2023. So three days? I'm going yeah. to be watching because I kind of want that guy. <laughs> Christmas in two years. <laughs> I think the Hot Toys Wizard was just kind of, kind of just, you know, shaking my chain a little bit. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I, what, it's so crazy. You know, I, I think maybe I heard a rumor that they were competing with another uh, toy line, possibly that, and it looked really good. And then they're, you know, that then they, they, you know, they, they announce these things and then they don't follow through. I don't know. Why, why is it taking so long? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I buy that, but yeah. I mean, it's, if Hot, if Hot Toys has competitors, I, I would love to see that. They would stop with this two-year wait time crap. <laughs> and Yeah, you know nice what? Drop. Yeah, it's it's way too long, but we did get a lot of drops really early. Mm -hmm. I don't want to wait. This is like one of those figures I'm like, ah, oh, darn, do I really have to wait that long? You know, and, and it would have made more sense to me if they were saying first quarter... 2023 but i knew i knew it was coming look easy i was saying look they got to fill up the first quarter second quarter third quarter fourth quarter of 2023 and they're going to drop i think a ton of these i think you're going to see is a possible easy we see cobb vanth that, yes. yes axe wolves which people think they're not going to do but i'm telling you they're going to do it that's why they teased it mm-hmm and look, here's another thing I want to point out. They're like, Aries, we didn't see a head sculpt with this. And we got the head sculpt. And we didn't see a head sculpt with the Cobb Vanth. You're going to get it. And we didn't you know, see in the promo picks, um, who's uh, one of bo backup dancers was in her final promo pick where it shows all the accessories. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody mentioned that in my comments. The leg of, uh, I forgot one. What was her name? The wrestler. Uh, uh, Sasha you know, Banks. Yeah. Right. She's her leg is like in the back of her Phoenix uh, accessory page. You can see like her leg. So maybe that's soon to come and possible release same time. You mean like 
D this Fennec right here? Mm -hmm. Go to her accessory page. Ooh, wait a minute. It is. I had one of my subscribers say here? that that's who. It, mm -hmm. Look at the bottom. Look at that leg right behind her leg. <laughs> you see, we're showing her feet, her boots, and boot right in the middle. Oh wow! They, yeah, yeah. They said that's not Bo Katan's. They said that's uh, Shasta Banks's character's boot, and that is interesting that they put that in there. Wow. Do you think wow. that's? Do you think that's a little bit weird, ain't it? I think so. I think it's coming soon, and then same uh, release frame. Time. Well, look, I I, 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 I was kind of guessing, and they follow a lot, not everything, obviously, but they do follow a lot of trends of Hasbro. Hasbro released their own Fennec. They've got um, the head sculpt of uh, of her as well. And people are like, oh, but look, you got the helmet. They're not, not showing it. I said, I think it's going to be such a, a knockout head sculpt. Such a beautiful job, which it looks like, obviously, they did here easy, that they just want it to be the fact that they saved this for now, I think it hopefully this makes sense to people. The fact that they saved this for now made it much more of an impact than showing a head sculpt like this with the whatever that was, uh, you know, the, the sideshow con or the whatever con that they, you know, they showed these at a couple of uh, um, events. And I think it's the same scenario, easy. I don't know if you have the same opinion, you know. With the with that axe wolves and that like you said Casca, uh, Casca Reeves, which is the Sasha Banks Mandalorian, and even the Cobb Vanth with Timothy Olivan. I mean, you can't even. Why would you even put out that boat that skinny Boba Fett without the head sculpt? I wouldn't buy it without the head sculpt. So I need right. the head sculpt. It's that. no point. It's a skinny Boba Fett. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like Boba Fett on a diet. Um, right. So you have to have it with it. But man, this is so exciting. But I, I do want to caution people that I do think this is going to come out earlier. And a lot of people had to readjust their budget this year easy because a lot of figures did come out early. And people were planning on that two-pack Boba Fett to play it, you know, next year in, in July or August. Now you're going to have to pay it now because it's going to come out any day. And I yeah. think with some of these figures, I think a trend has happened. I think the same thing is going to happen next next fall next and winter. Yeah, it feels so because of the re release is coming. So like you said, the uh, throne piece. When is Chrome, Chrome Mando do? Now, that was, there was a rumor. Remember a, a few weeks ago that, that there was a rumor that the Chrome Mando It's going to come soon. Because of the quarter scale. And mm -hmm. I, I didn't know what I thought about that rumor. I was kind of like, but why? I mean, there's no reason for it to come out. And then... But I would like it because I the, since they remade the Chrome version, that's one of those issues I had with all Mandos. I'm like, it needs to be more shiny, and then Hot Toys fixed that. So I'm I'm loving that the Chrome set and all. So I'm I'm ready for that. I really want to see that in hand, dude. If that comes out, they'll hop the pop open the off world Jawa <laughs> egg juice. <laughs> Come on, tell me a little bit of what's going on on your channel. I, I love watching your channel. I love your whole vibe. I love your your videos. Tell me what's going on, not only now, but maybe give us a little taste of what to expect in 2022. Go, baby. So in 2022, I'm hoping that I'm going to get my delivery of statues in because I've, I've, I have an order with a certain company and I have a bunch of statues just being delayed and they keep saying it's stuck at the port or it's stuck somewhere or it's not shipping. So hopefully 2022 will bring me my statues. I will be making a move and that's personally in my life um, to a different place. So I'm going to see how that's all going to fare. And in the near future, probably next week or the week after Mark 85 battle damage for review is coming. Other than that, I try to stay weird and wacky. And <laughs> people are like, why are you burping? That's disgusting. Unsubscribe. And I'm like, that's just me. That's just me. It's, it's, easy to be it's your vibe. And, and it, you know, it brings, it brings character. It brings flavor. And you've always, I mean, I've been watching you for so long do stuff like that. And uh, to me, it's just yeah. kind of, 
I don't know. It breathes in life, like like the Fennec head sculpt. There's life breathed right. into it. There's you breathe life into your content, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's so weird. Uh, some people get so picky and finicky. Get it, finicky, finicky. No pun intended. Finicky. With the, uh, with the with the channel's content, but I don't care. I'm in it for the fun and you guys in the community and being with. I mean, like, like, look, I'm with Aries. That's that's good people to be with. So if people hate on me, I'm like, Meh. oh well, I got people near and dear. <laughs> you know what? There, there, there's, there's always going to be haters, but uh, in, in everything. But I absolutely love your channel. And listen, um, I mean, look, you've got over ten thousand subscribers. But if for any chance anyone Long watching road. this does not subscribe to you. I have the link to Easy Company Collectibles in the video description below. Go click on it and subscribe to this man. Also, if you go to sixscalecantina.com, guess what? In the links and uh, resources uh, um, tab, I'm, I'm pulling up over here, you can find Easy Company Collectibles as well. So you Ooh. can go to the homepage, market value chart, resources and links. Just click on the resources and links. And Easy Company Collectibles is down over here within these uh, within these links. Just click on him, and you can see right here you got Battle Hot Collectibles, Easy Company Collectibles. Click on it and subscribe to him for sure. That's cool. I didn't even know that existed until now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See, you learn something every day. Um, but lastly, for the Aries Charrington show, I just want to bring up again. Look, I'm going to be live Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve morning with Aries. Easy. Who doesn't want to spend Christmas Eve morning with their hot cocoa with That's Aries? Crazy. Come on. That's crazy. You, You're crazy if you don't want to be with this guy giving out toys. Well, giving some, out toys. Giving toys. out toys. And we'll probably have Jawa eggnog. Forget that, about egg juice in the morning. We're going to have some eggnog. Some, I got to have the uh, lactose free eggnog. <laughs> We'll have the lactose free. Come on, we'll, we'll have that on, on tap. We'll be surfing it up. But again, look, um, tune in on on Friday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern. It's going to be Christmas Eve live with uh, Christmas Eve live with Aries in the morning, 10 a.m. Eastern. I'm going to be giving away a brand new hot toy sponsored by Ray from Hawk Wars Toys, who's sponsoring Good guy this guy over there. Yes, and again, all you got to do is just subscribe to Six Scale Cantina because if you don't subscribe, you're not eligible. And then the second thing is just go to my last Aries Tarrington show, which I left up on the website. I always put the latest videos up, but I left it up on purpose. This one right here from December 16th, just go to sixscalecantina.com, click on it, watch it, you'll enjoy it, then comment on it. And then that's the comments that are going to run and then subscribe to the channel and then you'll be eligible to um for the contest on uh christmas eve morning you could choose between lando right here the uh uh, uh short trooper squad leader 501st regular or the coruscant guard all sponsored by ray from hawk wars toys and don't forget to actually go follow ray on instagram he's not only got a lot easy of uh these new figures but ray gets a lot of the uh grails the the OG ones, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I and a I'm, couple of them. On, on my page, if you uh, uh, follow me on Instagram, I do a ton of raffles. Basically, you can win a figure for 20 bucks. Um, and it comes all through him. Um, he's He he has, just like you said, OG figures, um, grails, like old figures like uh, Stormtrooper Luke or Farm Boy Luke, Han Solo, he has a lot. He 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 buys sometimes a collection out from someone and he'll just get a hold of some grails that you're probably looking for. So if you want to give him a shout out, it'd be a good person to look to. Absolutely. And uh, besides subscribing to you, they can find you real easy on Instagram as well, right? Just put in easy mm -hmm. company collectibles, right? Or you do but you do easy those, company though. collectibles and I should pop up. So yeah. Well, listen, this was fun. Um, don't forget to, um, follow me on Instagram and Facebook too. I got the links to my social media 
in there. All you got to do is plug in six scale canteen and you'll find it. But look, uh, easy. We're going to get you. We're going to get you on some live market chart shows for sure. Right. Yeah. 2022. It's a bit hard. We had to do a recorded show right now, but um, yes, yes, yes. And yes. If the future holds me dear, I will be on, I will be on your show. Aries. I love being on, 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 on your show. And I love seeing your people. They're more educated people because you have the old stats and maps and stuff. I'm like, I'm blown away by all the stuff you do. <laughs> I'm like, wow. You mentioned that to me before. Listen, I like to put, I guess you like that, that I like to actually back it, up. It yeah. It makes me, it makes my brain explode because I'm like, I can't even, I can't even assemble a, a live stream and you're over here putting stats and, and I'm like, I'm blown away by the work you put in for the community. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Look, I I, uh, I, I enjoy having the website. I, I've always like kept a ledger, you know, a spreadsheet, mm -hmm. if you will, a list of my collectibles. And, you know, and then not only the ones that I have, but the ones I want to obtain, even the ones that I, I, I you know, we're, we're not going to obtain for a while to, to get the whole ocean uh, to be able to be able to read the waves. And that's always what I've done. So I'm like, I'm like, dude, it's like, hey, I'm going to put up this website, Six Scale Cantina. I hope people in the community really like it. And then I started talking to my wife, and she's like, you know, you should do like a channel. You do some of your your, uh, your broadcast stuff. I'm like, yeah, well, I don't know if anyone's going to want this old guy. And it's like, yeah, go ahead. So I went ahead and I tried it. I thought the website was going to be easy, mm -hmm. the big thing here. But uh, and it is a big thing, but the channel kind of blew up. So, yeah, you're growing a lot faster than I did. I mean, uh, it looks like uh, I have 10,000 now, but you know how long that took? <laughs> it, it took a long time. And you did it in, in what it seems to be less than a year Yeah, for a 2K. You're, you're going to get it because you have something people want. You have the, the community. You have the knowledge. You have the stats and everything. Like I said, it, it's just it's just you're profiting for people. And it's a good place to come. Well, thank you, my friend. And uh so, so glad I had you here on the Aries Terrington show. And uh, we'll have you on again uh, uh, for the Aries Terrington show. We'd love to have you have you back in the, in the, for, you know, shortly with that and on a live show as well. Thank you, Aries. Thank you all for letting me come on the show and be a part of you guys. Well, listen, I don't always buy Spotchka out, but when I do, I buy it from Six Scale Cantina. Stay thirsty, <laughs> my friends. See, See you guys. Christmas Eve.